bitten by a rabid bat. At least Summit Man is now forced to get some very painful shots. Andres Gutierrez is live in Lee Summit with more on why you should be on the lookout for bats. Andres. Mark, bats are quite common in this subdivision. That's what folks around here tell me. Most of them actually fly at dusk over this field. However, one of them gave one of the homeowners a surprise. And around it, make sure there's nothing hiding. Dally Rolfel spends many of his summer evenings in his backyard grilling. He has so for the past 12 years. But last Wednesday, the evening took a bizarre turn when something nipped at his big left toe. But it wasn't painful. There's just a tingling sensation. At first, he thought it was a bug. Instead, it was this creature of the night. When I turned on the patio light, I noticed it was a bat because it spread its wing. Raffle took pictures of the bat as it hung on these steps, but didn't give it much thought until the next day. They called the animal control. It was still alive. It wasn't injured or anything. And they came. And if it wasn't for that lady, I, I would have gone to see my doctor. She. She said, you better see a doctor. You don't want to get the rabies. He went to the hospital Friday to get a series of rabies shots as a precaution. Yesterday, tests confirmed the bat did have rabies. Rabies is passed by saliva from, from the bat. So if you, if you pick up a bat, if they're scared, they're going to bite you just out of um, protecting themselves. Lee Summit is one of the few cities in the metro who frequently test bats for rabies. On average, they collect 40 to 50 bats. This year, they picked up 35. And there's gaps on all these other portions. Experts say bats are flexible just like pesky mice. The populations have increased and they've kind of broadened their horizons and moved in and taken advantage of construction gaps, um, you know, on, on new subdivision houses. And he does advise to look for noises for coming from the attic and bat droppings around your shingles as a sign of bats. Animal Control says that if you have a bat, don't go near it, but call them instead. Reporting live in Lee's Summit, I'm Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.